Hi guys. Oh my god, I feel like this is really weird because I'm wearing makeup. I thought I would just pick up the camera because it's like three o'clock and I'm starting this vlog obviously in the afternoon. But I've just been busy this morning filming and when I film, I can't exactly vlog because there's no point. But I've been really productive, very productive. I've filmed two videos. I've edited a full video. I'm currently through my second video. I've just uploaded today's video. Um, and yeah, I've had a few new changes. So I've just currently got um, a new cabinet. So obviously it's like the Jan and I feel like Jan is the, is the month where I'm just like, I want this done. I'm going to get this done. So I'm actually going to be changing my room a little bit more this month. Um, I've just had to currently get new storage because I haven't got that much PR and makeup and I've been obviously been sent hair care stuff now and I've not got the room for it so I've had to get a brand new unit. Yeah I'm actually going to show you my brand new cabinet that I got yesterday and nice but it's got so much storage in it's unreal like loads and loads of storage in it and um, it's from Ikea I got it in the bargain basement which means I got it for a lot cheaper and I'm so excited to show you and I'm also very excited to be able to like organize it and put things in I have started like two drawers but it's really hard to organize when I've got that much stuff so I'm having to organize it which also means when I organize it it means that I also get rid of stuff which means a giveaway so there will be a giveaway pretty soon literally this is where I've been sat for the past hour or two because I've been editing non-stop so this is where my Alex five drawers now live which is even better because I've got double the storage so before I just had the drawer and then the mom drawer as well I only had this and then the drawer underneath my mom desk which isn't much storage this used to break all the time um you probably might have seen it on Instagram but one of my first drawers of this desk broke because it's just not strong enough and at the minute I've not got room I really haven't um even though I'm donating and giving away a lot of things I just still don't have the room for stuff so pull out my drawer and this is my my everyday makeup so I don't have to keep going to my big drawer or getting from underneath here yesterday with everything being so last minute and me randomly wanting this huge unit and now I've had to move this under here which is kind of what I was going to do anyway but I've literally not thought about how I'm going to plan it, plan this so I know my top drawer is going to be with, for makeup and I also want a skincare drawer so I might do it maybe at the bigger ones but this one is just like miscellaneous stuff like so this is the unit that I was just currently talking about it's got six drawers four big deep ones and then two smaller ones now I've like started playing around with things on top and adding plants on it I actually really like it so yesterday I wasn't too sure whether I liked it enough because it's such a you know a tall unit it's absolutely huge and it looked really big and like out of place however now I've added two of them hanging plants from my key either side and just put like a decorative Gucci box I mean I am humble but <laughs> I do like I do like Gucci boxes and stuff but yeah stay humble guys but I just wanted to put some stuff on top and I honestly think when I add plants to things it changes it like I love plants you guys know I have plants there I have plants there I have plants everywhere Um, yeah today's been a productive day I'm really happy I love just like getting stuff done like last year I think because of my mindset I was quite it took me ages to like film a video and really get into it and I buzz off like I don't know I really buzz off working hard I buzz off getting stuff done I just love it and especially at night I'm such a like workaholic I'm like oh I want to do stuff I want to plan stuff so yeah I really like I'm proud of myself I'm doing really good I'm being very productive um, I'm just currently editing my lip blush lip tattoo vid I've just finished doing my thumbnail for today's video I don't know when this video is going up but it's probably like what I'm gonna try and do this year is like do my best and being ahead of myself so when like I used to just film videos like say if I'm doing a Sunday video I'd always film it on like a Wednesday and it would always be that week I'm uploading it so this year I really want to be ahead of myself really like schedule stuff film another one for the week after and really going to try my best and get on top of it and be way ahead of sketch because 
it's actually way better for me doing that as well because some days like you guys have seen i can have really bad pain days but my back is killing i don't even stay on bed when i'm ill but when my back is really painful or like i'm just having a bit of a day i don't have the mindset of doing youtube and working because i'm not obviously as mad and bubbly as i normally am so for days when I'm ill and I don't have a video, it's a great way of having a backup as well. So, yeah, I'm smashing it at the minute. I can't, I can't. Every time I'm editing a vlog, and like you guys always say you want to see Rue in my vlog and stuff. So, at the minute, I'm really trying to like show you Rue when she's just chilling on the rug and stuff. And it just like, it. I don't know. I watch my vlogs back after films and I'm like, oh my god, she is my dog. Like, she is my dog. And She's just so beautiful. She's gonna grow up and hopefully, I'm probably not, oh, do I mention this? Maybe like in the future to like help out a charity, we are thinking of maybe fostering dogs. Like I say dogs, another Frenchie. Maybe like, this is in the future, like next year, the year after, but we wanna help, definitely help out a charity called Flu for the Love of Frenchies. Um, and yeah, I'm so like excited because we actually got our first ever home check. So when you adopt dogs or foster, you have to have your home check, which is totally like understandable, of course. But we had our home check and I was like, oh my God, this is real. We're having a home check for possibly in the future to foster or adopt another dog. So yeah, that's going to be so exciting this year because there's something about the dog, the breed, the character. They're just so lovable. Like, they give you more love than humans. And I just love editing my vlogs when she's in it. She's so gorgeous. <laughs> just look at this. What's the matter, princess? She's so cute. All right, so it's been about an hour now. It's currently half full. No, it's not. It's about quarter to five. But I've just got a cup of tea, as you can hear. I've got a cup of tea. I live for a cup of tea in the afternoon. And I'm going to, like, have a chill, maybe watch a YouTube video, and then get back to uploading my other footage that I was filming before. And then sign off for the night, because, you know... Then New Year's resolutions, hello, 5pm cut off. But yeah, I'm just going to chill, have a cup of tea. So the other day, I ended up going to the Trafford Centre just to, like, have a good look round. I wasn't really going in there to get anything. I just wanted to go to the Traff just for fun and have food, obviously. But I actually went in Selfridges. But I actually went into Astrid and Mew, I think it's that's what it's called, and got my some, like, more ear piercings. So I think it was the week after Christmas, I went to get my Helix changed to a hoop and also my, like, my second lobe or whatever it is this second one here i got that changed to a hoop and then obviously i had this big gap i will put a picture in obviously like when i first had it done and then obviously when i was there i was like oh actually i might come back and get some more piercings so the other day i actually went in and got some more ear piercings which i was like so ready for but i went for another helix and a conch now i've never actually thought of getting a conch i've always had like a rook in mind or like obviously building up my helix but i ended up coming out with a conch piercing now this piercing is so beautiful and like the area that the the girl did it in was incredible like she really made my ears like pop so i got two piercings um and i also got my forward helix changed as well so i obviously had this done like months and months ago but i actually got it changed to a hoop because i did have a stud in it the bar it was pierced with was really long and it was slightly like bent not because of me just because of the style of jewelry and it was really irritating me because it would pop out and i have to keep popping it back in and it was just irritating me so i got that changed to a hoop and then i obviously got my conch pierced along with my third technically fourth helix so i'm basically working up my ear i want like an ear full of like hoops and studs more hoops because i think it suits me better but yeah i'm really happy with my ear i'm obsessed 
with getting my ears done. I'm working on this ear first and then once that that's healed, I will be working on my other ear. But since you guys normally see this side of my face anyway, you do see this ear a lot more. So my logic was finish this ear, make it more like full with jewellery and then I'll start working on my other ear. But for now, this ear is looking really well. I'm honestly like... So this is my conch and as you can see it's a bar that has like three diamonds in it and it fits so perfect. My ear is red because it always gets like quite irritated after piercings but it doesn't like honestly like after it it felt amazing. It didn't hurt when it got pierced but yeah it, it's healing really well like I've definitely noticed it's healing better than like my helix did. But this is my newer Helix, this one here. And then obviously these three are my old ones. But this one and this one is my newest one. And then there is my new um, forward Helix ring. I did go for mixed metal. So obviously on this ear I do have gold and silver earrings. A little bit metally on me, like too much metal. So I decided to get more gold earrings. And I'm honestly, like I'm so happy with my ear i've never fallen in love with a piercing so much like this conch piercing is so beautiful i love how it sits inside my ear the woman who did my piercing she literally turned around and said you have got the perfect ear for the conch like your anatomy of how your ear is the piercing ended up fitting so snug i'm really happy with it obviously it's still super sore and like it does throb quite a lot but that is like totally normal for a conch like this is the biggest part of your ear like literally it's the thickest part and going through that it is gonna kill so i've literally been reading online like how to look after it because yeah your conch is a little bit of a more of a painful one and obviously it hurts a lot more afterwards apparently it can hurt for a few weeks so yeah i've got like a few weeks of this being in pain but you know what it's not that bad i have like moments where it doesn't hurt and then moments where it throbs but that's like you know part of it i don't actually care because when i wear my hair up i love having loads of earrings so yeah i'm working on building this ear up i might get obviously work not all the way up i might get another one and then finish that ear because you know what like it's looking really nice now and like the more you change jewelry and stuff the different it looks but i think I did originally want a hoop in my conch, but at the minute, I'm actually feeling just the conch having, like, looking like that. I think that looks so pretty, and I might leave the conch how it is. Obviously, I want it. I want to give it time to heal, but eventually, I might just switch it up and do it as a hoop, and then change this to a stud, because of how that's pierced, if I put a hoop in that... It won't be able to fit so what i'm gonna do is i might change that to a stud in the future and then the conch to a hoop so it's like one big hoop but i'm actually thinking of getting a conch on my left ear just that and then that's it like have not as many on my other ear if i'm honest out of all the ear piercings i've got i think the conch is my favorite one i've got yet i absolutely love how it looks in my ear but yeah, I'm so happy. Literally love it. Um, I'll actually put in the footage of when I got it done. So you can see. I didn't... Unfortunately, my camera didn't... Like, my phone stopped recording as I was filming my conch, which I'm so annoyed at. But I did film my third helix, this one here. The gold. <laughs> But yeah, that is it kind of for my earrings and my ear piercings. Definitely let me know like what earrings I should get next or what I should fill my ear up. Do you think I should leave it there or do you think I should get more? I don't know. I would love a rook. Like I've been saying this for months, even years. I've been saying I want to get a rook because I love the way a rook looks here. I don't know. Maybe if I got the rook, that would be the last thing I got. But I am... Oh, my light is gone. <laughs> 
But yeah, I am honestly so happy with it. Definitely can't wait to start working on my other ear, but I'll do it a bit different because I don't like both of my ears looking the same. So I think I'll probably get a conch on the other side. As you can see, that is my left ear and there's just two earrings on it. So I might just leave it as it is for now and then eventually I'll probably get a conch put in and kind of leave it there because I feel like a conch could suit this ear maybe like more high up like in the middle and like leave it there and like have minimal earrings on this side and then obviously hello hi spontaneous earrings is kind of what i'm going for so yeah that is my ear update i thought i'd just tell you that because and i was like oh my god i wish i vlogged but yeah just thought i would give you an update but i will be doing a like i don't know whether in the future to do a tattoo tag and then all my piercings video like um, all my piercings tag talk about every single person i've got the pain and uh, the healing of it all i like my favorite piercings my jewelry that i like wearing in it things like that if you want to see like a piercing video all about all my piercings because i've got quite a few now like yeah i've got nine so far obviously i will be getting more but i think a piercing video would be kind of cool but yeah let me know if you want to see a piercing and tattoo video because that is like so up my street i think it'd be such a cool video to do but honestly i just want i think i think this month i've been really into my jewelry especially since having my like ears pierced a lot more and having more jewelry and more rings on my ears and stuff it's made me really fall back in love with my jewelry again so like today wearing this i'm obsessed with it it's quite small for a chain i have got some big thick chains which i'm excited to wear because some outfits definitely suit it they're so in fashion at the minute but I just feel really weird wearing them because I think, yeah, chains are a little bit weird. But I think in a fashion way, like how I wear them, I absolutely love them. This one is honestly my favourite. I've got thicker ones, but this one that I wore today was my like little mini taster tester of the chain necklaces. But I really like it. It's said comfortable and it's a choker style as well. So I can have it really tight or just like what i'm wearing it today and i love it but yeah that is definitely something that i'm loving this month i'm definitely going to be wearing more necklaces when i wear you know tops like this because when i wear things like this i don't have necklaces and i feel like my chest looks a bit bare so that's like something that i'm definitely doing more of this month getting more use of my necklaces and my rings and stuff i've actually like got some new rings on at the minute i've got another one from boohoo moon and this one which i'm not literally showing you because i've got no nails on my nails are falling off because i've had them on for ages and i need like a new set asap not sure what i'm gonna go for this time but i'm getting my nails done tomorrow so I'm excited because I hate looking at my hands without nails. But I think I'm just going to go for nude this time because I'm going for like quite out there outfits, like quite dark and grungy outfits. I think I'm going to go for quite girly nails to balance it out, which I love doing. I love balancing the girly and the grungy side of me. So yeah, that's my plan for my nails. Um, But I have got a package from Huda Beauty to show you. So I'm actually going to show you that now. So this is the parcel. I've, I think... It could be Huda Beauty because it's... Ew, my nails. I think this could be Huda Beauty because it's DHL, which means any parcel that comes with DHL comes with Huda Beauty. So I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be, but I'm going to open it anyway. Yep. Awesome. Oh my God, so she sent me the... Huda Beauty Life Liner. Now, I've already got this, but I've run out of it because I love it that much. It is so good. But she sent me another one of these, which is obviously along with the PR package. But I'm so happy with that. That's, like, the best thing with Huda. Like, she sends some amazing PR packages. Like, I'm so grateful that I am on her list. Volume 3 of the Melted Matte Eyeshadows. This is the packaging that it comes in when you get the PR package. I think you can get the bundle, but individually, obviously, they don't come in this bag. Each one she sent, like, a little bag in. So this one's a purple. I've had a green one, which I love. So this is more of, like, the purpley, pinky tones, I think. So obviously, there's a purple one, more of, like, a nudie blush one. But thank you so much, Rudder, for sending me a another beautiful package. Like, so cute. And this bum bag is adorable. Look how gorgeous. 
yeah, I'm excited to try these. Definitely will be trying the brownie one and like more of the ready one. I think that one, cinnamon toast, is so beautiful. Yes. And I mean, I'm so literally couldn't be happier that I have the eyeliner. Like, so perfect when I go to London because I love using liquid liner and pencil. So this is like, yep, I'm very happy. I'm going to put that in my drawer right now. There it is. That's where it's going to go. <laughs> Obviously, this drawer is full of makeup, which I've shown you before. This one is for my skincare, which is... Oh, wait, that's in the wrong drawer. It kind of looks messy, but it's not. This is, like, my skincare drawer, my everyday drawer. It's got, like, my keys in, my purse at the back. So, basically, in this drawer, I've got all my skincare bits, like, the things that I use every day, like my it cosmetics, my Kiehl's, my... Elizabeth Arden, eight hour cream, things like that, cotton pads. And then in this one, I actually had these dark grey liners that used to have my makeup in, but I don't use them anymore. So I put it in here just for like random stuff to decide what I was going to do with it. And now I've decided to use it for like my everyday kind of jewellery and perfume sunglasses accessories things so when i get ready i can get like my jewelry my perfume my sunglasses do you see what i mean like this is the drawer i can come to to get all the things that i usually forget to do but i don't need to now so i've got like my like my earrings and stuff at the bottom my perfumes that i wear every day obviously this is the perfumes that i love and then my sunglasses are just in the back I've got all of them in the back there, but honestly, I'm obsessed with this drawer. Like, I'm really glad that I've sorted this drawer out. I still have, like, loads of drawers to fill yet, but this one is getting more organised. I've nearly done it. Like, it's looking really good. So, yeah, that's this drawer. And then in the drawer below it, I've actually put all of my lounge underwear in it. I've still used the same inserts that were in it anyway, but I've just added them inside of this drawer. And as you can see, it fits. Ew, my leg looks weird. But as you can see, the inserts fit perfectly with my underwear. So I've just, obviously, it still looks a mess. It's not. I think when I pull my drawer, it like undoes it all. But all of this is my lounge underwear things, which is literally my everyday. But I love it. So all of my lounge stuff is in this drawer, which is so cool. But yeah, this is like my everyday drawer and I'm honestly so glad that I've kept this drawer not solely for makeup, more for like my everyday things because it makes it easier when I get ready. I can just come to this drawer and everything's there. It's perfect. To start with it, yeah. Yeah, but it gives. Packs it on the vlog. I got your shade medium because it's way, like it's a few shades lighter than mine. I've got, I've got neutral tan. So that will be perfect yeah, for you. Yeah. Neutral tan, yeah. But you need not needed it, but I would need yeah, it. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> He's just walking around whistling. I'm trying to find room. <laughs> Thanks. All right then. So I think that my you can put on that because it came up really pigmented on my hand. That's a little bit kitty. Okay, so kind. Love you. Oh, little... Looks really nice. Oh, it's okay. It's very nice. It just gives you a nice. It that suits you that. Love it. Nice work again. Nice laugh. And love. Oh, I got that slogan above my back. I know. You're not. You're not a mum. You're not a mum without that slogan. It says. I've seen that on Facebook. You're not a mum without that logo. It, that that if you, if your family home doesn't have that, it's not a family home. Literally, this is what I've been doing for the past half hour. Alright, so I'm currently in bed and I've got Love Island on, but honestly, I just wanted to, like, tell you my opinions. And honestly, this year, I really, really dislike Love Island. I just don't like it. I know it's, like, the winter edition, but it's not wintry. It's filmed in, like, Africa or something. Really hot. But, yeah, I'm not a fan of, like, this might be, like... A really unpopular opinion but this January's Love Island I actually hate it like I've not been watching it I'm bored I've watched a few episodes 
and it just bores me. I don't like the people. They're just not really like genuine. And I don't know. Not a fan. Yeah. So I'm currently sat in bed trying to put something on. I think I'm going to put like Netflix on. Um, I've just got a cup of tea and I'm going to chill for the rest of the night. So I do hope you enjoyed the vlog. <laughs>